Ambrel's eView software is a Windows program that allows the operator to monitor the Eco Heat Induction Heating System from a standard PC. eView installs just like other Windows programs do. We've got a shortcut on the desktop, and the program also can be accessed through the Start menu. And we are running eView 9.18.09. Simply double click on that. EView stores and displays induction heating data. The software automatically logs heating information to a CSV file. This information can be viewed as a graph or spreadsheet inside EView. The file can also be opened outside EView by Excel and most spreadsheet applications. When EView starts, it asks the operator where it should send the induction heating data. Last time we ran, we sent the data to a file called EcoData. We're going to use the same file for this demonstration. EView now asks if we want to clear that file or append to it. We are going to clear the file. EView is designed to closely resemble the operator interface in the front panel of the EcoHeat. The operator can access information in EView just like they do on the front panel of the EcoHeat. The first four pages of EView are modeled after screens in the front panel of the EcoHeat. They are the home page, the system configuration page, the work head configuration page, and the system statistics page. The PC communicates with the EcoHeat through RS-485 interface. This is a standard electrical interface between computers and industrial equipment. We'll now go back to the home page and start a heat cycle. Okay, we started a heat cycle from the front panel of the EcoHeat. We see that the heat on indicator illuminates, that the timer counts up, keeping track of how long the heat cycle is run. And we are currently running with 259 volts at the coil. And we can also change that to kilowatts. We've got 4.3 kilowatts at the coil. Now we'll go ahead and turn off the heat from the front panel of the EcoHeat. We see the heat on indicator goes out, and our power goes to zero kilowatts. In addition to the standard functionality of the EcoHeat control panel, eView includes new data acquisition tools. Some of these tools are found in the heat cycle data page. Here the operator can customize the graph by changing the time axis and also the temperature, match, frequency, and power and voltage axes. So we're going to change our scaling so that we can see about five minutes of data at one time. The graph is going to save all the data that's generated, but we only want to look at about five minutes at one time. And we are going to rescale the temperature so that it reads from 0 to 200 degrees F. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and start a heat cycle from the front panel of the EcoHeat. Now we can see right below the, the graph, we've got digital displays that indicate co coil voltage, power, frequency, percent match, and temperature. For each one of these traces on the graph, we can turn the trace on and off. Right now, coil voltage is 259 volts, and it is a red line. So we're going to turn that trace off. We can turn it back on. We can change the color of each trace. We can change the thickness of each trace. One is a thin trace, and five is a thick trace. Each induction heating parameter has got a high limit and a low limit. So right now our coil voltage is 259 volts. Our high limit is 1,000 volts, and our low limit is 200 volts. So if we change our low limit to 280 volts, then we should see an alarm condition. And we do. And during an alarm condition, the parameter that caused the condition turns red and it flashes. So we know that that condition is caused by a low limit alarm on coil voltage. 
the coil voltage trace becomes a dashed line and there is an audible alarm inside the PC right now the mute button is on so we're not hearing it if we take that mute button off then we hear an audible alarm the eco heat has one analog input channel if the power supply is not operating in a closed loop control mode this input is available to monitor temperature to monitor temperature the user connects a analog signal preferably a 4 to 20 milliamp signal to the analog input this signal is sent to eview and it's displayed on the graph we're looking at it's also stored in the spreadsheet eview allows the operator to enter calibration information for the signal temperature monitoring is a key aspect of induction heating temperature measurements can be used to validate a new application or monitor an established process an optional eView accessory allows four external thermocouples to be connected to eView. We are still in the development process and we are looking at, at various hardware methods to bring external temperature information into eView. We recognize the, the importance and the usefulness of this information and we, we are not sure for the first release whether it will be thermocouples or it will be an external analog signal such as a 4 to 20 milliamp signal but we do want to make sure that all customers have the opportunity to bring in at least one temperature signal to eView and so even if they are using that the one analog input on the eco heat for closed loop control we want to make sure that they have another way where they can get a temperature measurement into eView so for this software which is under development we've got a temperature data page which we graph four thermocouples we don't have the thermocouples hooked up right now but it works very similar to the the heat cycle data page we're capturing data we will display it on a chart and we will also send it to a spreadsheet one of the most valuable features of eView is the ability to spreadsheet the information from our induction heating processes the spreadsheet can be viewed from inside eView this is all the information that is shown graphically in the heat cycle data page and the temperature data page all compressed into a spreadsheet all the entries are time stamped and date stamped they are grouped by heat cycle numbers every time the heat is turned off and turned back on eView increments a heat cycle counter so that we can link heat cycles back to the parts that were actually treated so if the operator knows the order that they ran parts they can actually link the data in the spreadsheet to individual parts so we store data for heat cycle percent match frequency power voltage temperature and this temperature is the temperature that's being conveyed from the eco heat so this is the from the analog input on the eco heat we store the tap uh, relative time that each sample was taken so to find the time difference between when two samples were taken the relative times can be subtracted from each other to give us that time difference and the spreadsheet also includes any external temperature data that's being brought into eView which for our application we have got four external thermocouples so we have got four columns of external temperature data eView software must be licensed for each eco heat power supply that it monitors each eco heat has a unique identification number that can be accessed through the system stats screen each identification number has corresponding license numbers that will allow eView to communicate with that power supply the customer can obtain a license number by contacting Ameritherm with the identification number for their eco heat. eView technology will also be offered for the Easy Heat product line in the near future. Ameritherm is committed to developing software products that will provide advanced solutions for induction heating applications. Software development will be driven by feedback from our customers and business partners. The initial software release is a core product that will be used for monitoring the induction heating process. The existing capabilities can be used for production control, 
quality assurance and validation. Future applications may include controlling the EcoHeat from eView, automatically sending reports via email, networking with remote PCs, automatic calibration processes, and generating diagnostic reports to send back to the factory. This software core will be continually expanded upon to merge the power of personal computing and networking to the world of induction heating. Our mission is to use the latest technology to provide exceptional value for our customers. Just imagine the possibilities. Imagine the future of Ambrel. We hope you enjoyed the presentation. Thank you.